Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, my name is Marissa, also known as Homemaking with Marissa. Today's video is going to be another week's worth of outfit ideas. I have shared countless times on my channel that I have a capsule wardrobe that I swap out seasonally. In this video, I'm going to be showing five different outfit ideas that I am wearing for the fall of 2021. I love taking some basic pieces and just dressing them up, dressing them down, adding different outerwear and showing that you can dress stylish and appropriate for the season without having to go out and purchase a ton of different items and have a wardrobe busting at the seam with items. If you are new to my channel and haven't done so already, you can subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button down below. I post videos twice a week and they're always related to something homemaking. I do this channel completely for fun. So I try to just pick up the camera in day-to-day -day situations and share just different tips and tricks and things that I am doing to just make life a little bit easier. Today's outfit is taking a dress and turning it into what looks like a skirt. I will insert a clip of what this dress normally looks like. It's got slightly poofier sleeves. So what I will do is just take this Aries oversized boyfriend tee, put it over the top, and then put a denim jacket over the top to cover that the neckline of the dress is a little bit higher. And because it has those poofy sleeves, you can see them underneath the t-shirt. But if you layer it with a denim jacket, I think this looks really cute. It gives it a completely different look. It looks like now I'm wearing a skirt with a t-shirt, a denim jacket, and I did pair it with a pair of black mules. The mules are from Target, dress is from Target, shirt is Aries, and the jacket is Old Navy. Let me give you a little bit of a closer look at how I create this front tuck look with the t-shirt. So what I do is I just take a really thin see if I can find it here, a really thin little belt. I belt it around my waist and then I just tuck the shirt in and blouse it out over the top. So it creates a waistline much like a skirt and allows me to have this kind of blousey tucked in t-shirt look, even though I'm wearing it over the top of a dress. This is perfect for a capsule wardrobe. It gives you a completely different looking outfit, makes it appear as though it's a different article of clothing but you're just taking something and repurposing it. My nails, I painted <laughs> in a variety of blue shades. Now, if you can see here, I was trying to do this in a hurry. I was doing it at bedtime and clearly I lost track of what, <laughs> what order I was painting these in. I've contemplated taking off a couple of the nails and redoing them. But honestly, I'm probably the only one that's ever going to notice that my pointer fingers and my middle fingers are not the same on both hands. Today's outfit is a hat. I purchased this last year from Target. I'm so on the fence about hats. I can't decide if I love them or if I hate them. I, I always feel like I kind of like stand out when I'm wearing a hat and not necessarily in a good way. I just... I don't know. I feel like they kind of draw attention to myself. And if you know me, I'm very introverted and do not like any sort of attention on myself. So on the fence about the hat, but I thought that it kind of channeled those fall vibes. This dress came from REI. It was on their clearance rack at the end of the summer season. So I don't think that it's still available. I do like it because it's collared short sleeve you can layer it really easily and i feel like you can dress it up you can dress it down it has pockets today i am wearing it with a pair of chunky heels with a peep toe these are target shoes i th i think they're they're at least two years old maybe more than that so i doubt that they're still available but it's a pretty basic shoe so this is how i would take this casual dress and dress it up Today we have guests coming over for dinner tonight. So I wanted to wear an outfit that I could easily clean my house and cook in, which this dress really fits the bill. It's wicking, it's super comfortable, and I can easily just pop off the hat, pop off the shoes, clean the house, do the cooking, 
and then put them back on when our guests are getting ready to come over. Today's outfit, I think, kind of highlights that I really do not have a specific style. Yesterday, I was wearing a dress and a hat and was all cute. Today, I'm in like classic soccer mom wardrobe here. So this is the same oversized tee I wore with the skirt earlier in the week from Aries, same denim jacket, but instead of putting it over the top of a dress, I'm just pairing it with a basic pair of black leggings. These are the, I think they're called assets, a less expensive line of Spanx leggings, and then a pair of Nike tennis shoes. My house, is being painted today, which I am so excited. We got a bid, I think, in the spring, and they're just randomly showed up today to start sanding and painting it, so I'm elated. It's super loud, but it's gonna be awesome when it's done. I'm working and then soccer practice tonight. So I wanted to be comfortable. I am also filming a Weight Watchers video today. I think that's it. It's all that's on the agenda. I did my makeup in like maybe five minutes and I didn't even bother flat ironing my hair. I just washed it, dried it, called it a day. I'm gonna show a close up of these tennis shoes. I bought these at a thrift store for I think $10 and they were brand new. They're a little bit dirty on the bottom, but they have these flowers and I think that these are just the cutest pair of little slip-on tennis shoes. Today's outfit, I am wearing two of my core items. I am wearing this leopard jegging length sweater that came from American Eagle. This particular pattern is not still available, but anything that is just long like this that covers the rear, I like that particular length of sweaters. I am wearing it with my black Talbot skinny jeans the Cognac Mules from Target. I've said before, these shoes are not particularly comfortable. So I do not wear them on days where I have to walk any amount of distance. And then because it is cold, but not raining outside, I put over the top this cream kind of khaki colored trench coat. This particular trench coat came from Talbot's last year. Their jackets are very high quality. They can be at a higher price point, but I always look at the end of the season. And last year I was able to find two trench coats for a severely discounted rate. And now I'm able to take full advantage of wearing them this year. This is the type of piece that I think will last maybe a lifetime. This is a really well-made, nice jacket. I feel like this combination is really casual yet looks pulled together this trench coat you can easily pair it over the top of a dress i think that that would be really cute but you can also dress it down and just wear it with a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings with an oversized sweater today we are going to two soccer games and just doing some basic tidying up around the house so it's a really laid back day it is like i mentioned it's very cold but it's not raining this outfit will be perfect for tonight's activities. I feel like I'll be nice and warm, but comfortable as well. I love today's outfit. I think that this is probably my favorite combination that I have put together for this fall season. I am wearing my chambray dress. This is a three quarter length sleeve dress. I wear it almost every single season and just find different ways to add layering pieces to make it appropriate for the season. Today, I am wearing a hooded black trench coat. This is a Calvin Klein trench that I ordered at the end of last season. So I got it on a major discount and it is hooded, which is great for rainy Oregon days. It is supposed to rain today, which is why I am wearing rain boots. And I put my hair up in a ponytail with just one of the ribbon scrunchies from Target. I, I don't know what it is about this outfit, but I am really loving this like fall vibe with the boots and the dress. I just think it's really cute. So I have mentioned before this dress did come from JCPenney. It's not still available. I did find something that was close on Amazon's website. I've not tried it though, so I can't attest to the quality of it, but 
I'll link that in the description box down below. Kind of a close up here, you can see that this dress has a tortoise colored button, as does the jacket. So I think that that's fun to have just these little tortoise shades in the buttons that match with the jacket and the dress. Today is, it's a work day. I am gonna to try to put in a grocery order. Nothing super exciting on the agenda, but I did want to make sure that I was wearing rain boots when I picked the kids up from school. I wanna thank you all for watching today. If you're new to my channel and you have not done so already, you can subscribe by clicking on my face right here. I will post an entire playlist full of capsule wardrobe videos for you here, as well as a video that YouTube thinks that you would enjoy down here. I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.